Right into that top story of ours, law enforcement agencies are on high alert amid rumours of a national shutdown today. Calls for a shutdown have been circulating on social media. National Joint Operational and Intelligence Structures said at the weekend that measures were in place to ensure the safety and security of South Africans. A similar social media campaign last month led to widespread unrest in KwaZulu-Natal and Gauteng, claiming more than 350 lives and billions of rands in job losses. NAT Joint Spokesperson Major General Matapelo Peters has warned those behind the messages that inciting violence is a criminal offence. Right, as promised, uh, our reporters are out and about first thing this morning to get a sense of what is happening uh, in uh, South Africa. And uh, we start off in Soweto. Criselda Lewis is there on the streets. Let's find out uh, what the situation is like at the moment. Uh, Criselda, good morning to you. Firstly, tell us exactly where you are and how things are. I mean, looking quiet from what we're seeing, but you tell us, what, what, what is the situation right now? Well, Yara, very good morning to you uh, from a deep kloof in Soweto. You'd recall this had been the scene just uh, recently of uh, unrest, of the violence uh, that we saw take place in Gauteng as well as KwaZulu-Natal. Absolutely quiet here this morning. Police, of course, as you indicated, had sent out uh, that statement yesterday saying they were on high alert as a result of uh, rumours that had been circulating about a planned shutdown, which was due to start this morning. We've been monitoring everything. Taxis are running smoothly. Buses are running smoothly in Soweto as well. Some of the residents uh, that have woken up uh, bright and early to get to work this morning are, are going about it uh, quite freely here this morning. So there'd been a lot of speculation over the weekend about exactly what was going to take place uh, this morning, those plans of that national shutdown. Uh, but it seems to be all quiet uh, here in Soweto. You'd recall that Soweto had been one of the areas that had been uh, uh, prone uh, to the violence that we saw, uh, uh, shopping centres that had been uh, destroyed. Uh, some of those clean-up operations, uh, you know, uh, that had taken place uh, after uh, those protests had taken place, uh, the violence that had taken place, some of those stores have not yet uh, recovered. Uh, at about 8 o'clock, 8.30 this morning, uh, the Gautenga Police Commissioner, as well as... Uh, the Gauteng uh, Community Safety uh, MEC are expected to brief the media this morning about what their plans are. But uh, I just saw a tweet from the Johannesburg Metro Police Department. Quite, uh, you know, uh, a large uh, a contingent of uh, Metro Police expected to be out on the roads uh, this morning over those threats of a resurgence of violence. All right. Uh, Criselda, we'll uh, keep uh, checking in with you if, uh, if anything does happen. But as you heard for now, things very, very quiet there uh, in, uh, in uh, Dipswood Soweto. So that's, uh, that's our reporter Criselda Lewis out on the streets. That was a scene of uh, much violence from the previous national shutdown. But this time, not, nothing happening as yet, but we will keep an eye on that. All right, let's move now to Mbalenthlem Tetwa. And uh, uh, she, of course, keeping an eye on us in the Johannesburg CBD. So uh, Mbalenthlem, uh, looks like people are, are, are making their ways to work and taxis are running smoothly. Give us an idea what is happening there. Good morning, Leanne. Yes, indeed, it seems as though today is a normal day. Uh, people are catching their normal taxis, making their way to, to work. And um, But I have to say that today, even though it seems like a very quiet day, um, there isn't much police presence. And this is compared to last month during the, 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 the looting period where there were a number of police cars stationed here outside the Tuli house. I remember we came here. This was our first stop where we came here and we found uh, a number of metro police cars just guarding uh, Lutuli House. There were also a number of police vans, police cars, literally just driving around the city, monitoring the situation. We drove behind them, um, watching and looking, looking to see what they were doing, hoping to see, um, <clears throat> to catch them in action uh, with regards to catching people who were looting or people who were destroying infrastructure. That's what was happening just last month. But today 
today it's fairly quiet we've driven around the city and we haven't seen any police presence we have tried to speak to the police to understand what sort of plans they have uh, for the Johannesburg CBD uh, in terms of monitoring this uh, so-called uh, national shutdown uh, however at this stage they've told us that they will only get back to us much later on in the day and that they will only inform us of where they'll be stationed a little later on in the day and they can't really divulge much information with regards to their plans um, and how they plan to monitor the situation or in and around the city um, and, and so on. So that's what's happened so far here in the CB, Johannesburg CBD. It's fairly quiet, but we will be moving around. Uh, we understand that there are certain places where police are usually stationed and we will be going to those spots to try and see if we can't get word for, from them and, and just find out from them what the situation is and what they've observed so far. Uh, Twitter is, is, is ablaze. We've heard, we've seen some unconfirmed uh, tweets where people are saying that people are being searched in certain uh, towns and cities and so on, but we haven't seen anything like that here in Johannesburg so far. All right. We'll leave it there. We'll check in again with you. We know that you are moving around. So keep an eye on the ground for us, and we'll certainly come to you if, uh, uh, if need be uh, at, at any moment during the program. So trying to just give you a sense of what is happening. I know many uh, South Africans nervous this morning, wondering uh, how do they make their way to work? Should they go? What to do? Where to go? So we're just trying to give you a sense of what is happening and if anything uh, is, uh, is of concern right now. So from Johannesburg, let's now move over to KwaZulu-Natal. Of course, we we know that KwaZulu-Natal was a major hotspot during the last uh, national shutdown. Jade Lee Pauls is standing by. Again, let's find out where she is. Looks like you're at uh, some uh, a toll, it uh, looks like Moy River toll, uh, a toll plaza, but perhaps you can give us more detail. How's it going there, Jade? Well, a very good morning, Leanne from KwaZulu-Natal. And it's actually raining today. I don't think uh, many people expected that, but I think it's also a blessing in disguise, especially after a month's unrest and what we saw at Moy River Toll Plaza with 28 trucks being torched and uh, several people coming out in their numbers to uh, burn rubble on the roads. This morning, Leanne, fairly quiet outside the toll plaza. I must say, police visibility as well as Sandev have have been very good all the way from the N3 making our way to Moy River. We've seen Sanders being stationed at certain exit and entry points. The police also uh, law enforcement out in their numbers as well just ensuring that the roads are open for commuters and trucks to pass the major toll gates in KwaZulu-Natal. But there are reports, unconfirmed reports coming from Durban CBD, Mgeni Road where protesters are are also uh, making their way uh, to Mgeni Road and have been burning tires. My colleagues in Pua Makanya and Tulani Ngobe are on that story and they're going to be bringing us the latest with regard to what exactly is happening in Durban. But here at Moy River Toll Plaza, fairly quiet. There is a lot of anxiety in KwaZulu Natal, as you would know. This is where the unrest happened. It is a province that is under a watchful eye by law enforcement agencies just monitoring those hotspots flare-ups but we have teams on the ground monitoring Kwamashu, the Durban CBD and all the way up north. Leanne. All right, Jade Lee, we'll uh, keep, uh, keep track of you, see how things are going, but uh, good to see that the roads look clear and uh, certainly uh, a stark comparison between what happened in the, uh, the, the, the previous month when we saw what was happening at that particular toll plaza and uh, the looting of trucks on that road. But uh, all clear for now. We'll keep you updated as the day gets underway with uh, rumours and uh, talk of a national shutdown expected to take place today. But